a lot of understanding of the constitutional history the development of the constitutional system how the development in the constitution constitution has developed and came to be adopted by modern countries in in the world mr shabbar rizvi has done tremendous work he has uh, given his own comments besides relying upon judgments besides relying upon other authors of uh, the constitutional books his own comments which i read to some extent i cannot say that i read it as a whole but i tried to read them and uh, i really found them very rich and uh, very expensive and uh, also very useful for the students of law for the people who are interested in reading constitutional uh, documents and for the judges also at the same time it's a rich book in every sense in constitutional law and uh, i congratulate mr shabar uh, raza rizvi for uh, coming out with this work which will be very helpful for the constitutional development of pakistan many things have been spoken by the previous speakers about the book and about the system in which we are living there are good things also there are bad things we should talk about the good things also we should talk about the bad things also but as a court as a chief justice of pakistan we are given a task to ensure that the con constitutional document is totally applied and enforced in pakistan making of the constitution is the job of the parliament all right but whether the constitution is being implemented or not that is the function of the court and the court sees that constitution is not being implemented in its true spirit as it is supposed to be then the court comes in and enforces it by its own judgment and by its own declaration we are seeing that the governance is becoming too complicated too expensive and matters apparently seem to be not being handled in the same spirit as they are supposed to be handled the capacity for the enforcement of rights of the people is not growing Pro people are facing difficult situation and problems their fundamental rights are being violated the go the governance is beset with situation which is of which often come before the court in the shape of a writ petition being filed <coughs> by the, <coughs> by the citizen for the enforcement of the fundamental rights and other rights which they have small petty things which are supposed to be handled by such an expensive government such a people who have so large workforce with them employed for delivery and deliverance to the people they are not doing it simple matters like cleaning of roads cleaning of garbage lifting of garbage maintaining of parks maintaining of open spaces providing of playgrounds to the people ensuring that all buildings and constructions are made in accordance with law all these things which are primarily of nature these matters relate basic basically to the basic uh, to the government at root these are not being attended to and the court is burdened with all those things to ensure that such 
small things which a citizen is entitled as a better matter of right court should enforce it by passing of its own dec judgment decrees and declaration i believe the rulers should take note of the all these things which are happening around us ensure that the constitution of pakistan in all facets of life is enforced obeyed and implemented and that should be done for the betterment of the people the beneficiary of the constitution are basically the people of pakistan the maker of the constitution are also the people of pakistan it is their will by their will that the constitution was made by their chosen representative in the parliament it's a long long subject on talking on constitution much has been covered by the, my previous uh, uh, speakers and uh, i will not take mm, uh, like to test you for <laughs> longer statement on that and uh, i think i'll complete it here and say thank you to you